Hi, hope you are doing well. I welcome you back to my channel Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it already. So in this video, we are going to go through a very important use case wherein if there are multiple columns and sometimes there is a requirement, how can I add these values into a single column? To have this as an example, I am using the first name, middle name and last name and I am trying to add James and the middle name and the Johnson and so the final name should come where I am going to store in the full name D column right in this column I need to store that so I need to combine add or concat whatever you say how can I do that and store it in the column D so that is the objective so let me run a workflow which I have created and I'm going to demonstrate how this one works and how to design that I'm, I'm going to explain. So give it a quick second, let it run. I think I started in a debug mode. Let me run this file. Okay. Now check this. It should be able to add all the values and write it over here. So you can see the values has been written right James T Johnson William Smith right Maria J Martinez so everything has been written in a correct way now let's see how this can be designed okay now this is our input data this is our input data so leave it everything just I'm having the first name middle name and last name so you can design a simple table like this and once you design let's go through you know what are the important things I'm, I'll go through them so the very first thing what we will do we'll use the use excel file okay i'm going to delete the important things which i'm going to teach you how to write that formula these are basics first you have to use a excel process scope inside that you have to use a use excel file i have explained everything in the previous couple of videos so anyone who is new they can still go through these steps uh, use excel file and then within that i'm using a for each excel row and i'm using the you know the I'm, I'm selecting the range so let me select the range so that it will be easy for to understand so excel indicate in excel i'm going to select the entire data range confirm so where i'm doing this for the for each excel row okay this is there is a new activity in the modern design <clears throat> if you type for each you will get this activity Okay, most of this, I mean, uh, this should be pretty clear to mo most of us. So I don't like to spend more time on explaining this. Rather, we will spend time on how do you really combine it, right? So for that, what I'm going to do, I will use the assign activity. Okay, I'm using the assign activity. Now the assign activity, let me create a variable. Let's see the, okay. I have created a variable called full name which is a string variable and I'm going to use the same so I'll say full name simple now here is what you need to learn how will you combine all this data so now uh, if I say current row first name all this data will come if I say current row middle name all this will data will come and similar way last name so first of all there are two different ways to do it okay I'm let me show you the first way so first thing because we are inside a loop remember i am inside the for each loop and the current row variable will hold the all the data so i'll say current row and in bracket i'm going to say the column name what is the column name column name is first name right i'll copy paste within double quotes and then you have to say two string because this will be an excel format kind of a data if you don't write two strings, so you need to convert that to two string. So this means what? When the loop will run, the first value will be James, the second value will be William, the third time when the loop runs, that will be Maria, right? So this is how you will write current row first name. Okay, this is understood. All you have to do, hit on a plus sign, give it a space because after writing the first name, I want to give it a space, right? And then I will repeat the same thing. <laughs> give it a plus sign and here instead of first name I am going to write the middle name okay so that way first name dot two string second 
column dot two string and I'm using a plus sign to add all the values and again I'm going to give it a space between the double quote and I use a plus sign copy paste and uh, what did I copy paste so I should copy this entire thing and here instead of middle name I'll replace that with the last name pretty simple right this is pretty simple I am going to show you there is a problem with this okay I'll tell you what is the problem can you recognize what is the problem the problem is if you see first name middle name it is adding just three values dot two string okay so the moment it adds all the values what would happen so here I am giving a manual space do you see I'm giving a space here and then after middle name I'm asking it to type a space and then type the last name what if the middle name itself is not there so for example William Smith so what would happen this space will get printed middle name is anyways blank and again this space will get printed so, so there will be multiple space which is an error in the data right so how to fix that I'm going to show you first of all let's go with this and uh, let's run this okay you can use a message box or you can directly write using the right set so if you see what is happening with the data if you see James D uh, Johnson for some reason uh, it has got double space do you see and then William Smith if you see one two three there are three spaces has come so this data is not really uh, cool right that there, there is some kind something wrong with the data now how do I rectify this data so to rectify this data we have something called dot replace do you know that dot replace what I will do this output of this entire data is a string so I'm going to put that within the parenthesis and then this is a string and then I will say dot replace dot replace okay so what would I like to replace with I'll use a parenthesis and here I will say double space I'll type the space bar two times replace the double space with what with single space so within the uh, double code I'm using a single space so replace the double quotes with single single space, sorry double space with single space that's all I have done and hit on ok so by doing this now if you see let me delete this output save the file and then let's run it again <clears throat> so you will see this time the data will not have double spaces it will only have single space do you see did you get it so there, is, there are no double space only single space if you click on anywhere if you give a back sorry give a backspace there is only single space so if you come to uh, William Smith also there is only you know uh, the double space has been removed ok so now um, I think there is a triple space uh, so the same thing can be programmed ok uh, replace with a triple space double space or you can use a or so all these thing, things can be designed so this is the way to do, do the job ok this is the way to do the job now you understood okay uh, whatever logic is required you can always modify that and improvise so this is one way the other way is also using a, a string dot concat method okay so let me show you how this can be done so for that all i will do write string dot concat okay string dot concat now um, what we should do is you know let the replace be there now when you are using concat what would happen the entire thing right wherever you have given a plus sign should be replaced okay so I am using a uh, comma instead of a plus sign because I am writing concat right so the plus sign should not be used then so I am removing everything wherever there is a plus sign I will replace that with a comma getting it so it's that simple so all done no error click on ok so this is another method of doing the job so hit on save hit on run file um, I should have deleted this right ok let me first delete this save it and then run it 
You can also do control F6 to run the file. Okay, so now you can see the output has come in a proper way. Okay, so these are different logics that you can build or you can improvise the logic still, and you can create a simple workflow to do the job, right? And this workflow can be invoked. You can use invoke workflow to call this kind of a function and utilize wherever in the project, wherever in the project it's required. Okay, so thank you guys for watching it. And anyone who is having a doubt, okay, how this write cell is working, prior to this, I have the use case number two, uh, use case number one, I have explained in detail. So in this video, I did not really want to repeat it. Uh, these are very simple activities. But again, in case you would like to really know, uh, please do watch the use case number one and two. So all right, guys, thank you so much. And once again, we are going to meet. Uh, before we end this video, I would request you to please, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, uh, and, and then we are going to meet in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.